Andrew Lund joins me live on board the city's newest tram. Now, Andrew, how's peak hour travelling along with you? Evening, Pete. So far, so good. This tram only started taking passengers this afternoon, so it's pretty new. And regulars will notice a few subtle differences, including uh, quite a few more handholds to reduce the likelihood of people falling over. Now, we're on Route 11, which is one of the least punctual lines on the network, and a big reason for that is traffic. And given this tram can carry more than 200 people, the government wants that to change. Unveiled by the Premier and Transport Minister this morning, Melbourne's 51st E-Class tram is the first ordered by the Andrews government. The latest, the best, we've seen design improvements. It's great for passengers and it's great for more than 500 workers out of Bombardier in Dandenong. But there's every chance it will end up stuck in traffic and running late. Last month, the average tram punctuality rate was 79.9%. But that was closer to 73% on busy routes 11 and 86, while on the newly created route 58 from Turak to West Coburg, almost one in three trams was late. We know that we can get some improvements uh, in terms of tram efficiencies if we can make some tweaks to the road network. The government's new agency, Transport for Victoria, has been tasked with improving tram priority. Yarra Tram says there are a number of corridors that cause problems. It's uh, uh, not only the traffic lights. Uh, we have to uh, rethink uh, the way uh, the city and the streets are organised. Punctuality isn't the only problem posed by sharing the road. Yarra Trams has also been working to reduce the number of passenger falls, blamed in part on inattentive motorists. Our drivers are, have been trained to uh, better drive, to a smoother drive, and also we have added many more uh, uh, announcements on board to make sure that our passengers are safe in the tram. Andrew Lund, Nine News.